see me do an original haircut on this and then I just now this morning did a convex disconnected top layer in the front into into uh, and there was actually this connection in the back and this actually also I just let it uh, air dry um, so I cut this this morning and then it's a very nice day out here in Las Vegas so Missy and I went and had lunch and uh, had lunch and went to the park, went up for a walk. Your hairstyling is amazing. I don't know anything about you. I love your pictures. Thank you very much, Derry, Derry Michael Art. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna heart that. Thank you. Um, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Anyway, so yes, as I was saying, um, I went through and just put water and let it air dry. Is it actually even fully dry? Yes, it is, okay. So let it air dry. I didn't want to even comb through it before getting on because I wanted it to be all here for you guys. Um, so this is no, no blow drying at all, no product at all, just haircut and time. So here's one little smoothie kind of look for itself. Still pretty, not still pretty, but it's pretty I think, I hope. Nice Frenchy Bob looking type of play. And I'm gonna go through and just work into it a bit as far as to giving it more finishing stuff, things, because I just, everything was just cut very blunt and left just the way it were. I didn't check anything as per um, if I needed to add anything lower into my disconnected line. I disconnect that, by the way, um, right at the corner. So I just go through and find, put my hand here, my, my left hand at nine o'clock, put my right hand above, and there I can find the 1030, 730 line. Yeah, I can do the opposite here, put my left hand here, my right hand here at three o'clock, I can find the 130, 430 line. I drew that one. I cut inside of that line. So I cut the little rectangle area inside yeah <clears throat> so with that then actually this is a cool thing you can see the layer is quite short here to disconnected quite long below it yet it's quite seamless as you can see that's uh one thing that i'm quite a fan of personally is having very seamless disconnection as much as possible i don't I want there to be disconnection without uh, it visually showing a strong disconnection. Basically, I want it to be um, very invisible and blurry and seamless as far as that goes, I guess. <clears throat> okay, let's see. So I'm gonna work with, putting some space into this thing, into this thing, into this girl, into this cut. Oh, and also, I remembered, I felt that I could go just a little bit lower on this side a little bit. Did not point cut it earlier, but just, I'm going to point cut it just for the softness of the fact that I'm well smoked by this point, as far as I've <laughs> been smoking all day. So, I might as well be innocent. Still keeping a very low elevation properly here, so that's still it being convex as opposed to sitting way up here and being kind of cavey and then flipping as it drops down, filling and flipping. Again, I'm looking forward to just fall and flow, not fill and flip. Cool, cool, cool. Better, better, better. Okay, now I'm gonna let this, get myself a clip.
And remember before, like I said, it was cut through here, but not through here. So there's gonna be very long, right next door to very short, right here. Yeah, so there's quite a bit of disconnection yet, again, because of the fact that I used the corners as a place to change and stop, change its direction, change its lengths. A corner is a great place to connect or not connect at, basically. So it's a very friendly place to work off of. So you will see as I get down through here, like say on this very first one, you see two different varieties of the top right here, length to the back. Same area right there because of the fact that this top area here was again combed to the outside, therefore becoming convexy in through here. This back area was combed to the inside, making it more longer towards the outside, more concavey filling towards the outside. So that's where you get a little mixture of links right there. With purpose. Can I can bring that up like that? Like that for you guys. There we go. There we go. I'll turn it. You just see it. Question said, sorry, did the original start with the idea of the hair being only combined style one direction? No, no, not at all. This, this type of look um, could be worn. I never look for it to be necessarily one way. This, this look could be great curly. This look can be great smooth and straight like this, can be great wavy, um, can be great slept on, can be great celebrated with their significant other afterwards. However, you choose to wear this hair, this hair is uh, quite friendly, really. Especially because of its disconnections and the way everything just melts and falls into place. It's quite friendly. So if this is a client, you know, you're just straddled up in it. 
basically right now, aren't I? I just had to think about that. I'm like, let's just think, if this is a client, <laughs> this is a little aggressive. <laughs> I don't think I would ever be exactly like this with a client, just saying, all right? Because her face is right there. Um, so only with the doll head friends, um, unless it's your significant other or, uh, yeah, you're doing side jobs, I guess. I'm not sure, but this isn't exactly how I would do it with a client, or with a client, yeah. <laughs> maybe if it were the 90s or the 2000s, maybe still. <clears throat> okay, not too much with this here. I do go over the corners like this, that I do do. I do do every morning, um, but I do that as well, um, as far as I'm standing over these corners, because I'm on the outside of the chair, safe of their body then. I'm something. So yeah, <clears throat> where was my voice though? That was crazy. I said, oh okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just working through this here again. Just point it straight out around a 90 area or a noon area of itself. I have to again just put some some a little bit more softness, a little bit more lean, melty blend into there. Of course, you wouldn't have to do that at all. That was not your choice. You don't have to do that at all. But I just thought uh, I might as well just make it really melty. Here's a pretty wicked show of that front. Here is pulling, combing to the front, combing to the side, combing to the outside here, getting that convex shaping compared to the back here, combing to the inside, getting that concave shape there. Yeah. You want to make sure it's not about speed that you're going to with getting in there and cutting those pieces out, that you're properly, uh, that your scissors align with it all properly, basically. Otherwise, you end up cutting more off than what you want, perhaps.
<laughs> Not in camera, my bad. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I need to get a separate camera person for things sometimes, I think, for sure. I mean, I've got a separate camera guy, but okay. But, you know what I mean. No, I'm just going through and seeing areas that just kind of visually feel a little bit, or not feel, but yeah, visually feel as and taste kind of heavy to my eyes. And just uh, put some space into it, lean it out a little bit. Remember, this was all disconnected, all through here. This was all layered, this was all disconnected, pretty much all one length for the most part. So now I'm just softly putting some break up space in through itself, just so it, it flows from the quite layered center area to the almost one lengthy sides. That can give you some of those, oh yeah, what's up with that? What's good? Oh yeah. I like when things just do what I want. Sit, ooh, sit. Good hairs. Just kidding, kind of. But that's the point of it, just to be honest with you. That's why I'd leave those areas. Is that Amber? This, I'm just taking the vertical sections and just pop it in between there. Just put some space through there. Just to lean it up just a little bit. Again, in that area that was pretty much all left, all one length and disconnected. I still want all that disconnection. I still want that silhouette of the one length. I just want more air and more space into it. And a little bit more of a lightness when it falls as well, I guess. No 
notice it being rounded, it not being square. I didn't go square across, I didn't go straight up to the ceiling like we so often do. It was straight up, but straight up out of the head for the head shape. Not straight, straight up all the way to the ceiling or anything like that. Enough working my way across the side, making sure I got equality, consistent message throughout as much as possible, even though there's disconnections. That is, as you can see right there. Okay, oh, my fingers. There. Okay, so now I'm looking at the saw. Might be cool. Just move one more bit on the side. It still seems just a little bit fatter through here. So I could probably just go in one little bit more. Just like that. That will lean that up. That's a little bit. There's my previous. Awesome. Cool. And I'm just gonna go with this because why not, right? Yes. Actually, yeah, I should go in the comb. I was gonna do it against the skin, but it's not skin, and the scissor does not slide well against this kind of rubber often. So,
This is funny, I keep kind of trying to look back from my mirror to the camera. It's very confusing. I'm at ADD, it's hard to just look at one of them. Okay. You know, because people do this all the time. It's very common, very much used style technique. It's all the rage here in America. I don't know if you're watching from another place, but definitely in America we do that kind of thing all the time. Anyway. Okay. So because of the space that's in this, again, no product. Not really, I'm not, uh, I'm not aligned with any hair care line, so uh, I will not uh, choose to put any hair care company into this. My friend Cheetah's the line she did her color with, that's all good on her. But I'm just me, independent me currently. So, in the meantime, here we are. No problem, I was gonna put some, but it's signing up really nicely, I think. throughout it's a nice shape nice little bob with a pair of bangs disconnected layers in the top again disconnected nape pair of soft V bangs and some space and texture through I hope you guys uh like this, and feel free um, to go ahead and go on to uh, Hairbrain's Facebook if you want to see the actual uh, full cut done into its entirety. So you're more than welcome to go back there. Hope you guys have a good week, and uh, big love, friends.